Welcome to the tutorial three of the introduction to operating system. And today the tutorial will be, uh, I will introduce the virtual memory and also some question that you will see in the, in the assignment and also in the exam about the virtual memory. So if you have any questions about uh, the assignment and also the, uh, the, the tutorial, then you can send an email to me at this address. So in this uh, tutorial, we will talk about some sample questions related to the virtual memory for the assignment and also the exams. So the first kind of questions will be the calculation. So you will be given the configuration of some virtual memory and you need to calculate some parameter for the, for the virtual memory. And, and the next kind of question is the address translation. So here you, you will be given the page mapping and also some virtual addresses. And based on this uh, page mapping, then you need to find out the corresponding physical address for those virtual address. And the last kind of question is the page table setup. So in, this, in these questions, uh, instead of translating the address, you will be given the relationship between the physical address and also the virtual address. So you need to set up the page table uh, to represent the mapping. And for the first kind of question, the calculation, here we, sh we show an example. And here we suppose that the page size is eight bytes. And also we have a two level page tables. The first level page table has four entries. And the second level page table has eight entries. So first, uh, we want to know what is the size of the virtual address space? How many bytes is inside this space? And also we want to know how many bits we should use for a virtual address to represent all those, uh, to represent the entire virtual address space. And also how many bits should we use for each element in the, in the address? For example, the first level page table index and also the second level page, page table index and, and also the offsets inside the virtual address, uh, just like shown in this figure. So for the first questions, the size of the virtual address space, and here, because we have two levels of page tables, we will start from the second level one. And the second level page table has eight entries. And because uh, each entry of the second level page table directly points to a physical page of eight bytes, so we can know that one second level page table just mapped to A times A, which is 64 bytes. And then because the first level page table has four entries and different from the second level one, the first level page table entry will map to a second level page tables. And we already know that a second, a second level page table maps to 64 bytes. And we have four entries in the first level one then we can know that one first level page table maps to four times 64, which is 20, uh, 256 bytes. So the first level page table is also the top level and we do not have any further levels of page tables. So the size that a first level page table maps to is just the size of the virtual address space. And thus we know that uh, the virtual address space has 256 bytes. And for the second questions, how many bits we should use for a virtual address space? So because we already calculated that the virtual address space has 256 bytes. So we need to assign 256 unique virtual addresses to, uh, to, to locate all those bytes in the virtual address space and to represent up to 256 possibility we need eight bits because two to the power of eight is uh, 256. So we know that we need eight bits for a virtual address in this question. And also uh, because the virtual address has different component, for example, the first level index and also the second level index and in the offsets. So here we need to find out how many bits we should use for each of the uh, components. And we will start from the offsets. And because we know that a page has eight bytes, which means that each page inside each page 
to have a unique offset. And to represent a possibility, we need three bits because two to the power of three is eight. So we need three bits to locate an offset inside a page. And uh, this will be three. And for the similar reason, because the second level page table also has a entries and to refer to uh, everyone uh, inside this page table, we also need three bit because two to the power of three uh, is eight. So we totally need three bits to locate any entry inside second level page table. And this will be three. And because the first level page table only have four entries, then we need two bits to locate any entries inside a first level page table. So this will be two. And you can notice that if you just sum up the bits for different components, for example, offset, we have three bits. And second level one, we have three bits. And first level one, we have two bits. So if you sum up those number of bits, then we will also get eight. So A is just exactly the length of a virtual address. And after we can calculate those address uh, space size and also uh, how many bits we should use for the address, then we can uh, perform some address translation to translate the virtual address into the physical address. So again, we also assume that the page size is A bytes and we have a page table like this. And here we only have one level of page table. So, and it also has and it also has A entries, number from zero to seven. And inside the page table, not all the virtual pages are mapped. So if a virtual page is not mapped, then its entry will be a uh, color in gray. So it means that this entry is not mapped to any physical address. And for the other entries, we'll have a number inside the entry. So they are just the physical page frame number so which physical page this virtual page map to. And for example, uh, we will use two, these two virtual address and we want to calculate uh, which of these address are mapped. And also if, uh, if a virtual address is mapped, then we also want to calculate the physical address for the uh, virtual address. So we will start from the first virtual address 19 here. And because the First, we need to know which virtual page contain this virtual address. And here, because each page is A bytes, so the first virtual page will cover the virtual address from zero to eight, uh, zero to seven. And the second one will cover the address range from eight to 15. And the third one will uh, cover the virtual address from 16 to 23. And this virtual address 19 here will just be in the third virtual page. We can calculate it by dividing it by the page size and then taking a floor, we will also get two. And because we number the entries from zero, then it will be the third entry, which means that, which means that the, the virtual address 19 will just be in the third virtual page as shown here. And the second method we can, we, we can use to calculate the virtual page number is that we can use the B-shift operations. So we already know that the page size is A bytes. So it means that the offset part must be three bits because uh, two to the power of three is eight. Then uh, because we only have one level of page table, then the virtual address will, will, be con will consist of the, the offset part and also the uh, first level page table index part. So if we just shift, and skip all those offset bits, then we can get the virtual page number. So we can simply shift the address right by three bits. Then we can also get two, which means that we are using the third uh, virtual page in, inside the page table. And after we go to the page table, then the third entry will be mapped to six. So the virtual page number two is mapped to physical frame number six. Then this address is mapped. And for the second address, uh, 45, because now the virtual page number is uh, 45 divided by eight, and then we take a floor, it will be five. Then it will be the, 
the sixth uh, page table, uh, the, the sixth virtual page inside the page table. And we can find that the, uh, the, the page five here is in gray color, which means that it is not mapped to, mapped to any physical address. So we can know that this virtual address is also not mapped. So uh, based on the previous slides, we already know that only the virtual address 19 is mapped and also it is mapped to the physical frame number six. So now the physical base address of this page is uh, six, which is the page frame number multiplied by the page size eight. So the base address will be 48. And also because the page size is eight, so we can know that this uh, the, the offsets of this address within the virtual page is three. We just take a modulus of the virtual address and also the page size. Then we can know that it is at the offset three inside the page. So by adding these offsets with the base address we calculate here, then we can get the final physical address for this virtual address 19. So we, it will be 48 plus three, uh, which is 51. And this is the first, the, the physical address we are looking for. So now uh, we can look at a more complicated case where we have two levels of page table. And we still assume that the page size is eight bytes, but now we have two levels. Uh, the first level is the page directory and the second level uh, are the page tables. <clears throat> And we want to translate these following virtual addresses into the physical addresses. And these virtual addresses are 34, 75, and 100. So here we also guarantee that, we also assume that uh, both the page directory and also page table has four entries, just, just like shown here. And for the page table, uh, for the page directory, the entry will point to the second level page table. So 10 here means that it is referencing the page table at the physical frame number 10 here. And the 11 point to this page table. And inside the second level page table, then the number would just be the physical page frame that the virtual page will map to. So to calculate the physical address, uh, we can start from the first address, the 34 here. And also because the page size is eight bytes, and also the page table has four entries. Then we can also know that a page table will map to four times eight, which is 32 bytes. And we will start from the first virtual address, 34. So in the first level case, we will first calculate which virtual page contain this address. But now because we have two levels of page table mapping, so first we need to find out which page table map this address. Uh, instead of the, the virtual page that map this address. So because the page table mapped to 32 bytes and the virtual address is 34, uh, is 34. So by dividing these two numbers and taking a four, then we can get one. Then it is the second page table here. Because we number the page table, page directory entry from zero then uh, one means the second entry. And using the page directory, we can know that entry one will, will point to this page table at, at, at physical frame number 10. Then we should use this page table. And the offset within the page table is two because we can just take a modulus of the virtual address 34 with the size of a page table. Then we can get two. So, so now after we uh, calculate this, then it is equivalent to the case that we only have one level of page table uh, and we are using this page table to find the bytes at the offset to inside the page table. So we can just continue the process. And inside this page table, we want to find the physical address for the bytes at the offset to. And because a page size is eight bytes, then uh, this offset two will be covered by the first page. So after we divide the two by eight and taking a four, we, we will also get zero. So it is the first page in the page directory. And using the page table, we can know that the first entry will be physical frame number five. Then 
uh, the virtual address will be mapped to the physical frame number five. And inside the page, we also know that the offset is just taking a modulus of two with the page size eight. So it is, a, it, is a, the, it is the number two bytes inside the page. So by calculating the base physical address for the page, uh, multiplying the physical frame number by the page size, we can get 40 and add 40 to the, and add the offset to, <clears throat> to the base object, to the base address 40, then we can get 42. So we can know that the physical address for this virtual address 34 is just uh, 42 as shown here. So there's also another way we can use to, uh, to calculate the physical address for, for, for two level page tables. So here we can use the number of bits for each part that we calculate previously. So because the first level page table has four entries, then we, we know that we should use two bits for it. And also for the, for the second level page table, because it has four entries, so we also need to use two bits for it. And because the page size is eight, eight bytes, so the offset will be three bits. Then we can uh, calculate the, the, num the num number of bits for each components inside the virtual address. And we can also convert uh, the virtual address 34 into the binary representation as shown in here. And by matching the number of bits to this uh, binary representation, then we can obtain the virtual page number one and also virtual page number two. So because the offset is three bits, then we can cut the rightmost three bits. It will be zero, one, zero, and convert it back to the decimal formats, it will be two. So the offset within the page will be two. And the virtual page number two, which is the second level page table index, will be zero and zero, then it is also zero in decimal formats. So we are using the page table entry zero. And also for the virtual page number one, which means that which entry inside the page directory we should use, it is the highest two bits in the virtual address, which is zero one. So zero one in the binary uh, format is just one in the decimal formats. So we also know that the page directory entry will be one. So by, by calculating this, then we, we know that we should go to the, the page directory entry one here and follow the pointer to get to the page table. And then inside the page table, we should use the first page table entry here to, to get the physical base address five. And, and then by adding the offset two, we calculate in that uh, slide to the base address, then we can also get 42. So this is just another way we can use for calculating the physical address for a two level page table uh, case. And for the virtual address 75, we can also calculate the first uh, level virtual page number, it will be two. So we should use this pointer 11 here to get to this page table. And the, the offset within the page table is 11. And inside the page table, because we are finding the physical address for offset 11, then 11 is in the, in the second page because the first page is zero to eight and the second page is eight to 16. So 11 will be inside the second page, but the second page is in gray color. So it is not mapped to any physical address. Then we can also know that the virtual address of 75 here does not map to any physical address. And finally, for the virtual address 100. So 100 means that we are using the last entries inside the page directory because uh, each entry will cover 32 bits. So 100 will be the last entry here. And you can see that the last entry is in gray color it, and it is not mapped to any second level page table then we can also know that the virtual address 100 is not mapped. So during the page uh, table traversal, if you encounter an entry, that is not mapped at, at every level. 
uh, during the page table traversal, then you can know that the, the virtual address is not mapped. And then uh, you don't need to go to the, uh, the, the lower level to find out the physical address. And the last kind of sample question is the page mapping setup. So instead of translating the, the virtual address into physical address, now we will uh, give you a relationship between the physical memory and also the virtual memory. And you need to set up the corresponding page, page mapping to represent uh, such relationship between the physical memory and also the virtual memory. So here we assume that we have a very simple program that has three pieces of data that should be loaded into the memory and also mapped. And the first segment is that we have a code segment and it will be loaded into the physical memory between the zero and also 16. And we want to map this range to the virtual memory uh, range between eight and also 24. So these two will be the virtual address but this two will be the physical address. And then the data segment will be loaded into the physical address between the 16 and also 24. And we want to map them. Uh, we want to map this segment into the virtual address between 24 and also 32. And for the stack segment, uh, it is loaded into the physical memory at 24 to 40, but we want to map it to the highest part inside the virtual memory from uh, 112 to 128. So uh, we also provide these two levels mapping and we already fill in the first level page table directory. So the first entry will map to this page table and the, sec and the last, last entry will map to this page table. But inside of uh, the, the second level page table, uh, all, the, all the entries are blanks. So you need to fill in those entries to set up this mapping between the physical memory and also the virtual memory. So to do this, we will use the code segment as an example. And once you know how to, how to solve this problem for the code segment, then you can also do it for the other segment, for example, the data and also stack segment. So because the code segment has two pages, it is from uh, zero to 16 and uh, the page size is eight. So it will cover two pages. And because the basic unit for the address translation is page, then we first need to divide the, the code segment into two pages. And the first page will start from the physical address zero to eight. And it will correspond to the physical frame number zero and we want to map it to the virtual address from A to 16. And the second page will start from the physical address from A to 16. So it will be the physical frame number one, which means that it is, a, it is the second uh, physical page in, in the physical memory. And it should be mapped to the virtual address between 16 and also 24. So for the first page, we know that the virtual base address uh, is eight based on this uh, based on this provided uh, provided in the in the questions. So uh, the first the first level page table index the the virtual page number one will be zero, which means that we are using the first page table uh, inside the page directory, and it will point to the page table at this uh, physical frame number ten. And the physical and, and the page table offsets is uh, A, taking the modulus of A with the size of a page table. So we can also get A's. So we want to find uh, the entry for the offset A's inside this page table. And because the page size is, is exactly A's, so we know that we are using the second uh, entry here. So after we determine the page table entry for this uh, virtual address, then we can fill in the physical frame number uh, inside these slots. So the physical frame number will just be zero. So we just fill in a zero here inside this entry. And then we can map the virtual address A to 16 to the physical address zero to eight. 
And we can also repeat this process. So for the second page of the code segment, it will be mapped to this entry and we will fill in the physical frame number to, to it. And we can do a similar thing for the data segment and it will be mapped to these entries. And for the stack segment, because it is the, at the highest location inside the virtual address space. So it will correspond to these two entries inside the, uh, uh, this page table entry. So we can also fill in the physical frame number uh, of the stack segment pages here uh, to complete those mapping. So after you repeat this process for every page in every segment, then uh, this virtual address mapping will be uh, completed. So that's also the end for this tutorial. So is there any questions about this? Uh, the question inside this tutorial. So if you have, have any question, then you can uh, send a message in the chat. And if you do not have any question, then you can leave the tutorial session now. So this is uh, all for this uh, today's tutorial.